Hey everybody, it's nice and windy today, so I thought I'd do this. What you got me? We're gonna do the bump fire stock for the AR. Uh, just, that way I could just kind of be out of the out of the wind today. I got me some oats because I got some skips. Got my besiege for my alfalfa weevils. Uh, I was gonna make a video on that. I deleted it because I didn't think it was very good. But let's get started. This, of course, is our AR I was talking about. Got the bump fire stock. I fired it earlier, so I know it's in it's good condition, but I want to clean the gun real quick. Uh, just, just so we don't have any issues during filming. Uh, of course, your lower completely breaks away. I usually do all this in the house because it's just a lot cleaner, but I figured I'd come and do that here today. I'm going to use some rim oil. I don't really like to use rim oil uh, on ARs, that is. I think it's just fine for most guns, but uh, the reason why I have a friend or a guy I know who's in the infantry and they had a special type of oil that would break down the carbon that they put on their their guns and for AR bolt carriers it's just it's it's superb it's a hundred times better than than anything I've ever seen because that if anything the drawback on the AR is the fact that if it is dirty it will not shoot I kind of like the gas piston design some of them have come out with I don't have one but I think they're kind of a good idea but um, this is just going to be kind of quick and really really dirty cleaning kind of lube it down I'm gonna clean the board just get all the carbon out of here but what that stuff does is it'll keep that carbon broken up so it'll keep that that bolt free and man I really 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 like that stuff all uh, I have it in the house I'll show it to you in the house I'm just gonna slather this up because we're going to do some stupid shooting with it. Normally I'll, I'll break it down and and really clean well, but for what, what we're getting ready to do, I'm not too worried about it. Well, going to be, now that I'm filming it, it's going to be a pain in the ass. don't really need to clean the trigger for what we're getting ready to do. Uh, we, we carry these rifles in our pickups all the time for coyotes. Uh, that's, yeah, we'll shoot prairie dogs with them, but we carry them for coyotes. That's why we carry them. I am not, I don't want to preach too much on this one. Uh, a lot of people think coyotes or scavenger animals and and where where they are that's it could be a very good possibility I don't I've heard it from a lot of people uh, and and I honestly I do believe that if they have the food source but we where we are we just don't have the food source and so coyotes here will actually pack up and hunt they'll uh, they'll get in fours and fives I've seen them we've actually seen a pack of ten before and that's that's kind of spooky to see that many run together I've seen I know we'll see them up to six four is extremely common 
and you know they'll eat the old they'll eat the dead cattle that's one thing but uh we have a problem with them with actually getting after our baby calves and you know people will make the comment that you know they're, they're going to go after a weak animal that's true but that baby calf's worth twelve hundred dollars to us so we have to save as many as we can and out here coyotes are actually a a predator to them and so you we got to protect our calves uh the and when when they leave the when they stop being scavengers what i mean by that is you know here they will actually start packing up and what they will do is we're kind of big country you know we so there's not many cows and it's not very confined so a cow will go off to have a calf and what will happen is if it's we're having a, a bad year or didn't have a good year and coyotes are starting to get hungry they will they will follow those cows off they will find them and when they go to have a calf what they will do is they will a couple of them will get in front of that cow and start start getting the cow on the fight and if you've ever been around a cow that gets stressed out while having a calf, you know it can end up very badly. And what will happen is the cow will either get stressed and go down, or uh, or she will act, she can have the calf, but then she'll prolapse, and then she'll go down. So we have seen this time and time again, where where the coyotes will start messing with the cow. And she will get stressed out, and she'll go down where she can't get up. And then what happens is while the coyotes are in front of her, keeping her occupied, the ones that are behind her will eat that calf as it comes out of her. So we found we have found cows that have half-eaten calves out of them. We found cows that. We have found a cow that will die from the stress, and the coyotes have just gone up and eaten the calf up to the shoulder blades, and then just left the cow, which really baffles me. They won't, they won't continue to eat on the cow. Um, but yeah, that's it's very disturbing when you see when you see something when you see coyotes eating a calf as it's coming out of the cow. And it ultimately kills the cow. If, if they don't kill the cow, or the cow doesn't die from stress, then she'll, just 90% of the time, not more, she'll prolapse. And it'll be such a bad prolapse, she will die. So, we we hunt coyotes. I'm not, I'm not even going to say we don't. We, if we see a coyote, we take care of the problem. Because they are a problem here, and that's, that's what we have to do. I've kind of gotten... A little preachy on this, and wasn't going to. Um, the ammo I've got today is I, I just went to town and bought some cheap ammo, which it wasn't cheap at all. It's a uh, Wolf Gold. They actually started using brass brass rounds for it. Uh, if it's a steel cased round. It will not cycle through a through an AR. If and uh, I prefer I prefer Federal or Lake City Armory. Um, they have pretty good rounds. Uh, you can get them pretty cheap now. But we're gonna. I went and tried the Wolf. That's what I tried earlier, just to make sure it was actually gonna work for us. But I'll pause this now and we'll get into it later. Okay. Now, with the slide fire stock, you can do this, and it becomes just a single shot. Just like your regular six position or your, your other, your A2. See, and it's, it's wild, it's really, really accurate.
Uh, it's pretty comfortable. You have to have it all the way out or uh, out though, because if you'll notice, this uh, where your finger goes. If you don't, it's kind of, kind of, uh, uh, just not that comfortable. Now this is gonna be with the bump stock engaged. Ah. We got a round issue here. That's how you know it's been in the ranch truck. That's all cattle paint that we use to mark sick, sick cattle on there. It's just been bouncing around the ranch truck. God, that's fun. Screwed up and didn't bring any hearing protection. Oh, you're gonna be a dirty bitch, aren't you? Okay. So those wolf rounds I got that I showed to you they're cheap as shit like that's supposed to be a full metal jacket and it's barely hitting the, the loading ramp and it's bending that tip so it's, it's not it's not that good ammo but it is cheap I got kind of hosed on it but I bought it locally but I didn't want to go buy a thousand rounds right off the bat so you know, that's kind of what I get. Ooh. There's another one. This one's even better. Be still, gun. That one just pushed it right, right in. That didn't, it didn't have a good crimp on the casing. It's another chunk of shit. Now, uh, I, w I will say one thing. These ARs are not designed to take this. The gas tubes get hot, get really hot, and it will actually eat your gas tubes out of it. So, if you're gonna go buy I think I just melted my my little my little mount for my GoPro. Yeah, it got kind of hot. It's all right. But if you're gonna go buy one, uh, or if you're gonna purposely put one of these slide fire stocks on here, uh, there's a couple options we can go over and uh, talk about. But uh, we might make that into another video that you don't have to worry about ruining a really expensive gun so boy that was just some shit ammo right there I'm gonna put it back on the And that's like 90 rounds so it was fun it's fun for me I'll show you my my mounting position right here well it's a little less windy in here and we can kind of go over it a little bit that is your slide fire stock uh, if I I really enjoy this stock now that I've messed with it a lot more. It is just a ball to have. Uh, the ammo that went through it, uh, it's cheap for a reason. If you were going to put lots and lots of rounds through it, I would suggest you go with like Federal. Uh, you won't you won't see that happen. I have never seen it happen. Uh, if it does happen, it's sure not going to happen as frequently. Um, 
if you are going to, I mean, if you're planning on shooting thousands of rounds, though, I would get a cheaper AR. Uh, definitely a, a cheaper gun to do it because you're going to cook your gas, your gas line in here and you'll probably eat off your gas port in the barrel so it'll stop cycling uh, because that it's just a small gas tube it's I don't, it's not meant to get that much going through it uh, this this gun's already had thousands and thousands of rounds through it so you know okay I I kinda wanna upgrade ARs so this one's kinda become just a just a dick around gun just something for fun I uh, just got. I've had a night vision scope. I had regular scope. I've had a little ACOG scope on it. It's. I've used just the the old iron sights. Uh, been kind of messing around. Finally got my red dot sighted in. It's a cheap red dot, but it's really fun for the the bump fire stock because it's just easy to shoot and it actually makes the bump fire accurate. Um, if you know they're expensive they're you know three hundred and fifty dollars I think but there's other ways to bump fire a gun and I I've done it on my AKs and I don't recommend it at all it's it's kinda dangerous uh, so if if you wanna have a lot of fun I would get one of these I think there's another I don't know who else makes bump fires for ARs I just know slide fire Foss Tech makes them for uh, AKs. I'm sure they probably make them for a ARs. I don't have one for my AKs yet, but as fun as this one is, I'm definitely going to get one. I just need $400 because they're kind of expensive. But if if you're going to get one of these things, do not put it on. Do not put it on a good gun. Uh, this is a, a DPMS Panther Arms. It's a 16 inch bull barrel. Do not put it on one of these guns. This is a, you know, if you're going to spend $1,300 or however, for a AR for accuracy, don't burn up the gas ports in it just because, you know, shits and giggles. Uh, you know, if you're going to spend the money, that much money on a gun, don't put one of these on it because uh, Smith & Wesson and a few other companies make the carbon fiber guns now or the printer guns they're like five fifty six hundred bucks if I was gonna do it I I think those would probably handle it I don't know why they wouldn't I would I would buy one of those guns if I knew I was just gonna trash one you know if I was gonna trash a rifle I would buy one of those and put it on one of those because uh, if you're just doing range shooting, that's what I would do. That way, that way you know you don't have a lot into the gun, and you you, you know what you're gonna do to it. I wouldn't go spend twelve, thirteen hundred dollars on a really nice AR and then put a bump fire stock on it and just eat out the barrel. But uh, of course, then again, that's maybe how you get your kicks. Uh, this gun, I'm not too worried about it, but let's be honest, it, it, this will wear out this gun at some point. This gun's probably already worn out, so it's it's not a big loss, uh, but it's it's definitely fun. If you want to have some fun, I highly recommend you getting one of these things because they're who I uh, I'll probably make some more videos of it with some better ammo. Um, I've even got tracer rounds, uh, well, and I've got some steel core ammo. Probably get it on a, a day where there's not so much wind. Today was just terrible for that. Uh, we've got a really nice big pit that we, uh, go down and shoot in lots of stuff to shoot and, uh, get a lot better camera angles on it and, uh, see how well that works. I think it'll be a lot of fun, but that's just kind of a preview of it and uh hopefully we'll get a lot better footage of it and maybe a few of the other guns and uh i hope you all enjoy so if you if you like this video please comment on it subscribe to my channel i'd really appreciate that 
If you want to see more videos like this, definitely comment on it. I've got a lot of other guns. Um, we can do a lot of comparison of ARs, AK stuff like that on uh, on you know maybe what you could spend if you're looking for uh, a v if a gun to uh, be more of a workhorse gun to keep in your truck than something to take to the range because I've got I've got both um, lots of different calibers so yeah if you're interested just. Please comment. I appreciate it. Thanks.